One last thing I'm going to add here to this machine before I start cutting is this white laminate board. Now, the whole purpose of this is pretty simple, actually. We've got bed rollers in there. Those bed rollers stick up proud of the table. The cutter head lines up in between. Once your material gets down to a thickness where it has some type of flexibility to it, the cutter head has a tendency to push the wood down and make it bounce. So by putting this in, bridging those bed rollers, that solves that whole issue, and it allows me to cut uh, through the machine without a lot of chatter or extra activity. So that's a, a full support, which saves me the time of trying to back the bed rollers down and then raising them back up. So let's talk about how we're going to run material through this planer. There's definitely some safe ways and not so safe ways to run material through here. One of the things I want to point out is this, that when you feed material into this planer, if your hands are stuck underneath here and that infeed roller grabs a hold of it, it's going to pull that board down so hard you're not going to get your fingers back out. So be very aware of where your hands are when you're placing a piece of material in here. The next thing is this. We want that material to be nice and flat on the surface. We don't want to have to have a long board sticking out here and lifting back up because that's automatically going to shove up here into the cutter head. Which brings me first, before we go any further, into this whole snipe discussion. We've got to have it. I hate the fact, but I'm going to tell you right now. Snipe occurs at the beginning of the board and at the end of the board. It's part of life. Get over it. There is no way around it. It cannot be eliminated. The whole action of this planer is a cutter that grabs the front of the board and in the process will lift it up. If I have this infeed roller set so hard that it can't lift up this front edge of the board, it won't have enough strength to pull it through. So get over the fact that you're going to have some snipe at the beginning, you're going to have some snipe at the end, and as your knives get dull, you're going to have more snipe at the beginning, and you're going to have more snipe at the end. So, in the milling process, please be smart enough to leave enough length on your board that you can cut that off, and then snipe isn't an issue, okay? So, now that we're done with that whole thing, let's start planing some wood.